Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations, back with another video. And I'm gonna be using some resin today and I'm gonna be doing it on these porcelain items that I have here. I'm gonna go through them with you really quickly. Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. So I do this beach art um, and they're kind of abstract. I don't know, they're beautiful. I think they're beautiful and I sell a ton of them in my store. So I have to get a bunch of them ready to um, get ready to go for this summer. And as the warmer weather approaches, obviously there's just a lot more people around. So I need to have them ready to go. So I wanted to get those done. So those bigger trays, I think they're like a um, 16 inch tray. I believe I bought those on Amazon. So I will put that link down below. As for this one, this is a smaller tray. I'd say this is maybe 13 inches um, with the little handles. I believe I got this at like, I know where I got this, Home Goods. <laughs> so I always look there for things because you can really find some good deals. And um, the little, little dishes I have, so these are little, I do these um, shells and I also do little heart dishes. And they, like I said, they sell like crazy because it's a great price point. It's not, you know, not everybody has hundreds of dollars to spend on art. And this is just a little piece of art and just like a little ring dish or a little trinket dish or whatever you want to do with it. Um, they just make, then they make great gifts. So I have these and I know I bought these on Amazon. So I have like four of those. And these have the bigger shells. Um, not sure where I got these. I think I may have gotten them. I'm gonna to have to look that up and I'll put it, if I can find the link, um, I will put it down below. So some of the colors I'm gonna be using are gonna be resin art pigments. I'm not sure what colors I'm gonna use yet because um, if you look over here, I'm gonna turn the camera, I have all this stuff to do too. Um, these are my wood items that I sell and they're ornaments really. I just kinda of wanna get ahead of myself for the summer, especially my summer shows. Um, but people are starting to shop for Christmas and, you know, not only are these um, Christmas items, but they're just like cute little things. So these are the little New Jersey ornaments. And I think I did a video a while back showing you how I made some of these. So I have the little wooden uh, surfboards, some little turtles. How cute are they? And then I have that big turtle over there. So I'm going to be doing those, but those are not going to be part of this video. I just wanted to show you. So I'm going to be doing a lot. So that's why I have all these colors out. So I'm just going to show you some of the colors that I'll be using for this tray. I will definitely be using the resin art. This is by Color Art, the Blue Moon, which is one of my favorite colors. Definitely be using that. So I just wanted to show you, and I think I've showed you before. Uh, it's not this one. This was more of a powder, but this one, Seafoam. They're like little granules all right and you think oh gosh they'd be like really hard to mix in no they aren't they just dissolve and they create these beautiful shimmery colors um so this is sea foam then i have another one teal magnolia i have another one over here and this is azure mist and i believe this is more of a powder so you can see the difference okay um so i have a couple different ones stardust again i think this is more of a granule Okay, so I'm gonna use some of those. They also have pig, uh, bling it colors by Primary Elements. And these are more like the Primary Elements, but they're more of a fine powder. Um, these you can use in paint, like you would if you're gonna use your Primary Elements, you're gonna mix it in your paint, or you can use it in the um, resin. But these you can only use in resin. So I just wanted to make that clear. Some of the other colors that I like to use, and like I said, I might not use, be using all of them. This is Unicone Art Moroccan Blue. And then I have a Unicone Art Peacock Green. Um, another Prism Pour, and this is Water Dragon. I like to use, I've used that prior. I have some blue, uh, um, Teal by Golden Fluid. I might use that. For my beach waves, I use the Illuminite, Illuma Light. <laughs> my gosh. Um, pigment paste okay and then i also have an aluma light blue which i cannot tell you the color of this because it is a mess you can see it's already all over my hand all right so those are the colors i'll be using today i'm going to be using some ks resin do have a coupon code down below for that you can save yourself five percent i do also have a coupon code for the color art products anything on their website 20 percent off which is awesome tsr 921 
um, just go to their website and use my code. All right, so let's get started here. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. And uh, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for supporting my channel, as always. And, oh, I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. And when I get there, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway. I'm um, not sure what I'm giving away yet, but it'll be good. All right. Have a great one, guys. I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my Okay, so you just saw me mix up the resin. This was the KS resin. It's a two-part resin. Um, I mixed up 20 ounces because like I said, after I do this, I'm going to be doing all my little items over here. So I wanted to have enough resin. And this has a pretty good working time. I'm gonna say about 40, 45 minutes. Honestly, I get out of it. Okay, so it's all mixed up. I'm going to separate it into cups to um i'll do these first so let's see what colors i'm going to use um definitely going to use the blue moon okay so i have my sticks so i'm just going to pour some resin into each of the cups if i can keep this from becoming messy yeah right And whenever working with resin, you want to make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area, um, gloves, eyewear, um, mask. Um, I'm going to be bad today. I'm not going to be wearing a mask for this part. Um, but once I start and do the rest of it, I will be because I'll be using so much of it. Um, but for this part of the video, I'm not wearing a mask so I can speak to you and you can hear me. All right, so let's um, get started here. So let's use the Blue Moon in one. This is the Resin Art Blue Moon. You can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna take a nice big heaping couple. Tea little, look, I'm almost out of this. I need more. And then just stir it in slowly. Oh, look at that. that color such a pretty blue okay so we have that one and let's do the sea foam so sea foam in here big heaping couple stickfuls and see how they they start to melt look at that Oh, how pretty. Look. Okay. So that one's good. Then we'll do, let's do this Aluma Light, the dark blue. That, with the paste, about 10% as well with the tape paste. And I'm going to put, just for giggles, you see me going on, there we go. Um, I'm going to put in a little bling it abalone shell into this one, just to give a little spark all. All right, so 
So what other color should we use? Mm -hmm. um, let's, let's try the Stardust. pretty light blue. Pretty. All right. And then I'm going to put some more in because I, this was, this is one of my favorite colors to use. It's the Unicone Art Peacock Green. And I need a stick. get us started going anyway and let's do the white I need just a little of the white and this is the alumalite and I'm running out of it oh boy there we go should be good First things first, I'd like to make sure I did wipe these down with a little alcohol and I just got blue on that. Ay, ay, ay. So I'm just wiping it down. <gasps> and I got blue all over my gloves, so it's, so it's getting everywhere. All right, but so I did wipe these down. I'm going to change my gloves because of that, okay? All right, so. I'm gonna go slow through this, at least for this large one, just so you can see the general idea. Um, and then I will speed it up as I go for the little ones, because it's basically the same idea, just in a much smaller dose. All right, so I always like my darker color on the bottom. Let's see if we're in close, okay. So I like the darkest color on the bottom, so I'm just gonna kind of pinch my cup And pull it up. Okay, pretty. Then I'm gonna do the next darks color. And let it pull up. Okay, let's go for the next one, which is the peacock green. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm gonna, probably not gonna use both of these. Um, let's do the light blue, because we did the green. Okay, so that's gonna sit there like that. I'm going to take my torch, if I can find it. Okay, so I have my torch, I'm just gonna torch some of the air bubbles, okay? Now I'm going to pour clear onto here, but first I'm going to blow this out a little bit just to get it to move. And to do that, I'm going to use this, um, is a mess, <laughs> hold on. This is just an air blower. It blows warm air, not super hot. I just have to plug it in. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of blow it Around.
So I'm just going to take my stick. Yeah. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Probably not. I just had a little gap there, so I wanted to fill that in with resin. Clear at the top here. Okay. I'm going to just take a stick. I'm going to heat it up. Just take my stick and move it up into the corners. can't tell you how much exactly how much resin this takes what you can do if you are curious on something like that but I did need a little bit more here um, you can fill the dish with water to see how much water would fill the bottom of the dish but I would say this is probably about maybe two ounces maybe three Okay, so I'm just going to drag my stick just to combine the colors a little bit, okay? This is where I kind of play around with the design. Okay. So it looks pretty right now, but let's, but we're still going to This is where I kind of play with the design, so I, I can't really and try to make some interest. How's that? All right, before I actually do that, I'm going to put the white in. This actually looks pretty like that. I'd like to leave it like that, but I'm going to show you how I do the white. So the white, all right, so I'm going to take a little bit and put it right on the edge. Okay. Put it, you know, as much as much white as you want in it, really. I'm going to put a little bit in here, too. Okay. So now I'm just going to heat. And then you need to take your hot air, your hot air gun. I think I'm going to put a little bit more white up here. It's just not thick enough because I want it to spread out. I want it to go both ways. take your to break it up like I said this is where I play with it <laughs> I like it, what I like. It's not just throwing the resin down. If you get a little on the side, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it does come off pretty easily. Um, with a little alcohol or after it's dry it'll still come off but I'm gonna take it off now with the alcohol okay okay So I think this looks really pretty. I don't know that I want to do much else to it. You're my 
cat. She's crying. She wants to get into my art studio and she is not allowed in here. I just wanted to add a little white in there to give it like a kind of like a wave crashing effect. Okay, so you get the idea. You can play with it as much as you want. You have plenty of time, but I think this looks really pretty. So just hit it with the heat. Make sure you pop your air bubbles, all right? Put it in a safe place to let it dry. I usually have these little um, picnic um, tents for food that work great. Um, do I have one in reach? No, I don't, but they're just little pop-up tents um, for picnic for food. Um, you use them at a picnic. So I got those and that's what I use to cover them. And a lot of my artwork when I use the, oh, look what I just did. All right, so this is a perfect example. It'll wipe up. There we go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the little ones, same basic concept, okay? So I'm gonna speed that up for you. All right, here we go. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. Give me all your love, give me all 
your love.